hi you guys welcome or welcome back to the channel if you are new here hey girl hey hey boy hey before we get into today's vlog i want to introduce the sponsor for this video which is urbanista and i'm going to share with you guys my personal experience and how i've been loving their stockholm plus earbuds so Urbanista was born in 2010 in Stockholm, Sweden. They provide products that are stylish, sleek. I've been loving them because the sound quality is great. It is extremely lightweight. I just love that I can throw it in a back pocket. I can throw it in any small mini purse. Some of the amazing features with the Stockholm Plus earbuds, they give you 20 hours of playtime. The charge on this is long lasting. These earphones, you guys, are made for a secure fit and it gives you a comfortable feel throughout the day. I have used these, honestly, at work. I've used these going to the gym. They stay on, they are designed so perfectly and stay on very comfortably for me. It also has a protection against splashing water you guys which is awesome you don't have to be super careful it has a sleek redesigned case with an LED battery indicator that holds up to five charges you have a variety of colors with these earphones so you can actually look stylish so for the list of their colors they have midnight black fluffy cloud rose gold olive green and titanium and I currently have a rose gold on I'm a rose gold girl as you can see and they also offer a 90 day return policy it's so easy to connect this through Bluetooth through your phone and you know it connects in just a second and you can listen to your favorite music favorite playlist Urbanista Stockholm earbuds cost around 50% less than Apple AirPods Their sleek design, amazing audio, great price point, and thousands of five-star reviews make them a top option over other audio brands in the market. Go to urbanista.com slash Taja to get 20% off your purchase plus free shipping. You can save your coins and still get quality sound with these headphones. So to grab your pair, go to urbanista.com slash Taja to get 20% off your purchase plus free shipping. Yes, yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Good morning, guys. Welcome, welcome back to a new vlog. If you are new here, hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey. Today is Monday and it is nine o'clock. Your girl is up and ready to get to work, ready to have a productive, fulfilled week. Mostly today, I have some work stuff to take care of, like YouTube work, replying to emails, sponsorships, brand deals, um, and also packaging orders. For Taja's Lux Boutique. So I just got done doing my little skincare for the day. And my skin is looking very radiant. If you've been in bed all day. Feeling <laughs> not motivated. Let me be your motivation girl. Get up. Let's go get some work done. I don't know what tea I want today. Like I ran out of like my favorite tea. Which was this matcha. Actually I think I have a little bit. I have enough to make me a cup today. I need to find this product again. But y'all, I loved, love, love this matcha collagen tea. It just gives me so much energy and gets get like gets me going. Definitely not sponsored, obviously, but um I'm just saying I need to get more of this. cup of heaven it's so much better with vanilla milk i tell you i have not been using this every day but on certain days where i feel like okay it's gonna be a busy one then i pick it up um i also want to get the five minute journal i've been seeing it all over tiktok Okay, to do today, first thing first, we're gonna edit. And I have to send this video to the brand today. Oh, 
okay let's start with what i'm grateful for i love that it has the i am grateful thing here i am grateful for motivation today for feeling motivated today because that's not an everyday thing for me it's not a lot of you guys always kind of point out how positive I am in my vlogs and like uplifted and you know you guys kind of get that energy through the screen. I don't feel my best every day and it's okay to acknowledge that. It's okay to recognize the presence you're in or take the day off, spend the day really focusing on yourself today and feeling better today doing self-care things it might just be laying in bed all day that might be your self-care for the day and that's okay and then tomorrow we come back 10 times harder resting is another form of self-care it could not get any louder out here i'm about to edit this video are my plants growing? Nah, for real. <clears throat> I don't remember my plants sticking out this far last time I sat in this chair. My plant is growing. Uh, I'm so glad, but like I've mistreated them so much, you guys. I'm just, I'm the worst plant mom. My inside plant is a snake plant, so it doesn't need to be watered that much. But this one outside needs a lot of care and um like it's probably been a week since i last watered her i'm about to feed her today okay to do a light little makeup for the day just putting myself together honestly speak to my hello Ugh. i love this spray it's like a refreshing facial mist mario badescu no badescu so I'm hanging out with Chelsea today. We don't have any specific plans, but that's the best way to do it because whatever come up, I'm down with it. Um, so yeah, she's on her way here and yeah, I just got cute because it's early. We have the whole day ahead of us. We don't know what's planned. So whatever it is that we're doing, I know that I'm just ready for the occasion and she is- Hey you guys. So, you mind a wine glass? No. Chelsea made it to the casa. We're not sure where we're about to go. Might be breakfast at Barney's. Might be another place. It just depends on the wait because they're like 20 minutes away. <laughs> Cheers. But let me tell y'all what Chelsea's about to have me do. So I was like, Chelsea, who is driving today? So we've decided we're gonna do rock, paper, scissors. And y'all know, <laughs> y'all know I'm for as fuck. I don't know how this really goes. I told her, so paper covers rock. Mm -hmm. Scissors cut paper. And rock, rock hit scissors. scissors. So do you want to play? But it's on three that you decide. Which rock, one. paper, scissors, shoot. So when I say shoot, you do what you're you going to do. You pick what you pick. Yes. Don't hesitate because that's cheating. <laughs> do you want to do one game or do you want to do best two out of three? What does that mean? So best two out of three means we'll play three games. If you win two, I win one, you won. If we play one game, it's just one game. And if I win, and drive. Let's do best two out of three then. Okay. Don't be looking at my hand, Taja. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> Wait, no, that was a rock. No, no, we gotta start over this. Y'all, she put her thumb up. That, that was, was a not, reflex. I said scissors, paper, rock. My mind was somewhere between scissors and rock. So I said, whichever she has. <laughs> or, okay, okay. okay. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. One for me. Wow. <laughs> Damn. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. <laughs> we riding in the rain. <laughs> we riding in the rain. <laughs> That's cool. By the way, you guys, Chelsea hit 50K on YouTube. So, indeed, we're going to go luxury shopping today. 
period drop it in the comments let um just congratulate chelsea make sure you guys check out her channel as well First of all, you won the rock, paper, scissors challenge. You ain't gotta win this one. Don't let me win. But you know what this math do? <laughs> what, what does it do? What do I want to win? Do you mark? Get set? Go. Oh, I got fruit stuff. Me too, there's a fall. broke my freaking nail it is so hot out here you guys um we are leaving Saks. we're about to um head to the hermes store and my camera died my children in the back <laughs> yes ma'am we got two babies going in the back miss chanel and mr yves Saint Laurent. chelsea got her um earrings Shirt. They look so freaking cute. So y'all have to head to her channel to actually see what they look like. The unboxing. See the unboxing. I told Chelsea this is a, a moment itself when you're yes. opening it and everything. It's so hot out here in these streets, honey. We're about to head to Hermes. I just wanted to look at this, their slides. Uh uh, it's your time to shine. Girl, I don't know if I'm gonna do it though. I just wanna try to move on. Okay, just see how they look. See how they look. <laughs> It's just so beautiful out here, you guys. It's so sunny. It's hot. There's the restoration hardware over there. So we just pulled up to Jenny's ice creams, you guys. You, you're taking your tea? <laughs> this is gonna be a process. Oh, Take your time. So Chelsea was telling me that this place is good. She's tried it before. So I really wanted to give it a try. And when we pulled it up on the GPS, it was literally three minutes from where we just left at. So we just pulled up to Jenny's Ice Creams. I don't know what's good in here, but my friend will let me know. What did you try last time? The, uh, the brown butter almond brittle is so good. Brown butter almond, almond brittle. brittle. Is it like, is I it like chocolate. Mm -mm. You like chocolate? I do like they chocolate. They have a lot of different It has ones. a little chocolate in it? And I'm sure, no. No? I'm sure they'll let you like test out them since it's your first time being Oh, I can get some um, samples? I hope. morning guys what's up i just have not been picking up this camera last footage was done on a monday today is friday 8 17 almost 8 20 just got up did my hair got dressed and i'm heading to my dental appointment my last dentist he is in north carolina so i was following up with a new dentist here for invisalign 
And so when I went and saw him for the consultation, basically he told me that my teeth have straightened up really well, but my bite is still really open on one side. He recommended for me to see a actual orthodontist that does braces and Invisalign so they can give me their opinion and let me know which route I should take. Should I continue with Invisalign and speed this up or should I just get some braces on to fix my bite? So we're gonna go find that out today. I'm actually a little nervous to find out because I just don't wanna have to go through braces. And that's just, just something I don't wanna do. I'm a dental hygienist. I see so many patients every day that do have braces and the complications that it can cause versus having clear trays that you can pop in and out of your teeth. So that's what I would rather have. But anyways, we will go find that out. Um, I don't really have time to grab breakfast or anything. I'm just gonna have a glass of OJ. Press the blue button for a ticket. First of all, this is not blue. Please try inside. Okay, I think I'm here. I'm just so confused. I can't find a phone number to call, nor have they called me. <laughs> but visitor and monthly. Okay, I think I'm here. I just really need to figure out where to park. So I was on the phone with my mom earlier telling her how this is 15 minutes. I'm not, it's gonna be longer than 15 minutes. I was telling her how indecisive I am trying to figure out if I should go to Florida this weekend or not. But I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go to Florida. I think I'm, I booked my ticket for tomorrow. So I'm leaving tomorrow and coming back um, a few days later. I'm excited. I just left my consultation here. The doctor here was really nice. The staff here was really nice. The doctor did a full consultation. He looked at my bite. He looked at how my front teeth are touching, how my back teeth are touching. Then he handed me a mirror to show me exactly what he see and what he recommend. So y'all are all up in my personal space, but I'm just gonna try to show y'all. So. And he was like, unfortunately, Invisalign is just not enough to fix your bite issues. And that is something, if you're interested in Invisalign or you currently have Invisalign, I'll tell you it's honestly a great, great alternative to fix like crowding. But when it comes to bite, I personally feel like Invisalign is very much limited to fixing a bite and jaw placement. He was like, it's basically not gonna be another two years. The treatment plan might be less than two years because I've been in Invisalign for two years now. So, yeah. I don't know how I feel. It's very much bittersweet. One, I am happy that this can be fixed. But two, I just hate the fact that it has to be with braces because I just don't want metals on my teeth. But yeah, girl, I'm just gonna look at this as a good sign for me to fix my teeth and finally be done with ortho. So now I'm about to watch all types of YouTube videos on braces. Okay, I'll probably see y'all at the nail bar. Gonna go get my nails done. And then by the time I'm done with my nails, I'll probably just go to the mall, which I'm gonna do something very simple with my nails today. It ain't nothing crazy. Oh, I'm done. Got my short whites. I'm gonna go ahead and run by the mall real quick. I'm just gonna browse around some stores because I'm probably gonna check Zara. I'll be going to Florida tomorrow. I'm excited to be going to Florida to go see family and spend family time, quality time. It'll be a short stay, but it'll be so worth it. So yeah, most of my family is in Florida. My mom, um, not my mom, my dad's side of the family, my grandma, aunt, cousins. My dad is now living there um, with his wife. That is something very exciting happening is that now they have moved to the States. So yeah.
can see, I'm home now. And I've just been cleaning up, cleaned up the kitchen, living room. I've just been straightening up my house. Nothing is more annoying than coming back home from a trip to a messy house. That is like my nightmare. I'm getting ready to go pack. I have to start packing tonight. And I'm not packing a whole lot. It's just not going to be too much because I'm only going to be there for a few days and then i have to do my hair but my hair should be really fast i'm just gonna install the old wig that i had it's like this beautiful it's, matter of fact it's my puerto rico wig deep wave like 30 inches long we are gonna make it work i received my hermes sandals today okay in the beginning of the vlog you guys saw me go shop for them I ended up ordering the ones that I wanted because they didn't have my size in store. I just love how they look. I just love them so much. But I'm gonna have to go back to the store and get an exchange because there's two issues. One of them is that I wanted the white on brown leather. As you can see, the shoes that I just showed y'all are white on white. Oh, I wanna show y'all what I got from Zara Girl because these outfits are so freaking cute. Just wait for it. Check out the top. And it has the matching pants. How stinking cute this is. They were on the pricier side, honey. For this set, it was like $145 for this set. I was like, Zara, what y'all got going on? And then I have another set. Look at this orange. It's like a button-up silk blouse. And then you have the matching pants as well. <sighs> Good morning, you guys. So it is the next day, obviously. Bright and early. Dark outside. Like five o'clock in the morning. No, six eleven. Six eleven. Um, my mom just picked me up, and we are on the way to the airport. I'm so tired, so tired. I actually woke up this morning and did my hair this morning, girl. Okay, just finessed a wig that was already there. This is my Puerto Rico wig, and I just did a metal part this time, and it still looks really, really good. Let's just hope it holds up. I actually used um like an actual glue <laughs> because the Florida heat ain't no joke. Bringing me so many memories 
because I had been in an earthquake in Haiti before that was like one of the worst experiences of my life and I'm just really in my thoughts right now this is just kind of put a damper on things for me and I'm just like I'm hoping and praying that everybody is safe and sound I'm just about to check the outlet see what more they're talking about like what are the details but y'all like just please send a prayer to Haiti it just seems like we can never catch a break it just seems like there's always something going on and it just sucks it just really sucks one thing after another so there's been a 7.2 magnitude earthquake Ugh. so anyways I guess I'll update you guys tomorrow on that. What's going on? Taja is in town. Hey. Yes, sir. So Jake, we just picked me up. We're about to go to a Haitian restaurant. Uh, Haitian patties, patty yeah. corde. This place is busy. Oh, oh, huh? it's busy. It's packed. It's packed, but it's good. It's worth it. It's worth it. Everyone is stressing out about what's going on in Haiti, huh? I know. We're just not in the best mood right now. I feel like Haiti is Haiti and they need to do a better job. But unfortunately, those people in the government, mm -hmm. they are the same. They're not helping. They're not helping. They only care like, about themselves. Are there hospitals available for these people here? <laughs> are there resources? Is there going to be help? <laughs> Ah, living avec Zoe, on va voir. Est-ce que nous Yes. Okay. 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 Yeah, Maxa Lechino. So beautiful. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Hey. Mm. We're just outside hanging out. What is that? Are you opening up a bottle for me? What are we cheering to? To life. Fly family health. Let's see. Good to see you. Welcome home, Sas. Thank you guys. Love y'all. Visage, leave it to a Okay. No, 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 no. Ooh, okay now. Okay, he can swim, swim, honey. Uh, is he gonna come up? Okay. There we go. Lately, I've been praying, God, I wonder, can you hear? Think about the old me, I swear I miss you, dear. Good morning, you guys. Oh, it feels so nice. It's still pretty humid. First morning in Florida. We are getting ready to go grab brunch. Not brunch, we're doing breakfast. Not after break, right after breakfast, I'm coming back here and me and my cousin are getting ready to go to a brunch party. So then I'll be dressing up, doing my makeup and ready to step out. But this morning is just a family breakfast and everybody is just getting ready. I don't know we're waiting on my cousin to come outside he is inside getting dressed but we're taking two cars because there's like eight of us <laughs> my aunt my dad his wife my Hello, grandma my, my uh, brother my dad's wife my cousins it's a full house what's up my man hey what's going on good morning guys? What's going on? good morning He's guys all dressed good morning. up let's go let's go all right I don't this man for the whole fit. a whole fit <laughs> you want to say hi to the vlog Nico yeah, what's good, what's good, what's Tell good. the people what's going on. Tell them where to follow you and check out your music. Ro.vert. -E I'm the next big thing. Remember yes, that. he is. And I'll put it on the screen so y'all can check it out. But we have to go.
shooters and we just had breakfast it was really really good y'all should check out this spot if you come here uh to this is in fort lauderdale right we're not in miami by the beach make sure you dress up so you can take some nice pictures because the view here is immaculate i didn't do that okay we're not gonna talk about it but yes the drinks are good i have a steak and eggs Jiku, can i talk to my vlog yeah, i said one of the you talking about this is the best shrimp he had i had the steak and eggs and it was very delicious See, I was just chilling. It's a nice weather. I guess it's not raining anymore. Yeah. Anyways, you guys, I was trying to show y'all how tall my brother has gotten. He's like 6'3". Six 6'3". Three. Six three. And he's 14 years old, y'all. Look how tall my brother is. I'm so blessed, so happy. We about to get him in uh, basketball. He finna be in the NBA, NBA on the yeah. screen near you, honey. Watch out, period. Look at him. I see the drip. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're back at the house, of course, obviously, and I am doing my makeup for this brunch slash party we're going to. Um, my cousin went out, they went back out to the mall. But I was like, let me go ahead and get ready because I know it's gonna take me a while, okay? I am all dressed up and I'm just doing my lip right now I'm doing like a lip liner lip gloss combo I'm wearing this set from Zara this is what I picked out a few wait this was the day before the trip so you guys definitely saw me picking that out all right y'all my camera officially died oh hi little birdie <laughs> My camera officially died, so I'm just gonna be vlogging off my phone for the night, which is fine. It's just less for me to carry around, okay? But it's just so hot and humid out here in Florida. Like your makeup can't even stay intact and fresh. Your wig can't stay glued down. My wig has been sliding back for the past, for the whole day. But girl, the humidity said not today, sis. I look real cute. And I'm about to take a few pictures out here. My cousin about to hook me up. Was supposed to be flying out at five o'clock tonight but i woke up this morning and checking the weather and just checking the news they was talking about a storm coming i basically explained everything to the family hugged everybody and 
the best thing that I had to do was head to the airport and um, try to see if Delta can fit me in an earlier flight because I just didn't want to risk not being able to be home because I have to go to work tomorrow and I have things to do. Uh, fortunately, they were able to give me a flight that was at 145 that's what ended up happening i got on a sooner flight you know i hated leaving early today because i wanted to spend the morning with the family my grandma was gonna cook dinner for me before i left and it was just gonna be extra time i booked my flight coming back at five o'clock purposely yeah when i got here it was raining and it's still really gloomy outside but the weather is not too bad but i just didn't want to risk it like i said okay so i've been back home for about two hours now and I made me a tea because I feel so gassy. This is not bad at all, not bad. So I do appreciate a lot of you guys that have sent me messages on um, Instagram. A lot of y'all have been checking on me and my family, making sure that we're good. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. Ugh, because I do wanna address, you know, what's been going on in Haiti has affected us my family so much a lot of you guys know that my dad and my little brother my dad's wife they stayed in Haiti but they actually just moved and relocated to the States so they're now in Florida it was just best for them to move so also blessed that my family is safe and sound um, we have people that's been affected by this like my heart is literally breaking for what's going on in Haiti right now because it just seems like we can never catch a break. It's always one thing after another and after another. I just wanna help them. I'm just in a position where like, I just wanna take the pain away and I just, I just wanna help at this point. Haiti needs action. They need people that are literally handing them food, water, helping them build a place to stay, helping them stay safe and I literally just, feel helpless but I know that I'm not helpless I know that a small act a small message me talking about it on my platform right now is a way of helping in a sense you know um I have been following very closely some people on Instagram like that are trying to put things together like I follow Jessie Wu you guys know that I, I often talk about her on my channel but I follow her on Instagram because it's like she's been actively trying to see what she can do physically from Atlanta from here to reach Haiti. About 10 years ago there was an earthquake like this that happened in Haiti. It happened in Port-au-Prince and I was there and that trauma is still living with me because of the horror that it brought to my country and it's like Haiti is still kind of recovering from that and now hit by another earthquake. And so yeah, that's just, it's a lot, it's a lot. If there's one thing about Haiti that you need to know is that that country is so resilient. That country is so strong. That country will pull itself together and try to move forward. That's why I'm so proud to be where I'm from. I hope that anyone that is Haitian following me, their family back home or if they are in Haiti I hope that they are good I hope that they're safe I pray and send so much light to them also I will try to update anytime that there are organizations that I see that I you know make the research and see that can help Haiti I will post it on my Instagram I will share and I will also share them here on YouTube so again, thank you guys for watching today's vlog. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe.